this is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Immersive Technologies. And in today's video, we are going to show you how to install the Oculus Rift onto your computer. Now let's take a look at the hardware first before we do anything else. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is the actual uh, headset itself. The headset itself uh, right here has a one wire connected to it and this wire runs to this here which is the uh, the controller box for the development kit. Now that is a static cable that's not going to come off at all uh, and, and lengthwise you know you're talking about um, you know maybe five six feet so there's a, there's a little bit of a, a play room for you. Uh, what I recommend doing is once you get this thing plugged in to all the correct power and, uh, and, and HDMI or USB whatever it is that we're going to connect it to uh, you put this maybe on top of your computer or next to your laptop if you're lucky enough to have a laptop that will actually run it. Uh, this here is the power adapter and this power adapter uh, comes with the device it plugs into standard wall socket. Now there's also uh, the ability to get a and I'll show you here a USB uh, version, so it's USB on one side and then it fits the uh, power adapter on the back uh, socket and so this can actually be USB powered. Now I've seen videos of people cutting open and soldering things and that t type of um, you know nonsense. You don't need to do that. Uh, I went and found this uh, StarTac or I'm sorry, StarTech uh, USB cable. Uh, I think I got this on Newegg. Uh, so it's a barrel power adapter connector size M to a standard USB A four pin mail connection. Uh, I think this maybe cost me $5. So no need to solder and do all that nonsense. Now, uh, once you've got that plugged into a USB port, and I'm lucky enough to have USB ports on the front of my tower, uh, then you also have the other USB connecting cable. This again comes with the kit. Uh, this plugs into a USB device and then it is a micro uh, USB on the back. See here. And that so that, that takes up two USB ports then. And then you've got the HDMI cable. Now this HDMI cable is just standard HDMI. You'll notice on the back here you've got a DVI or an HDMI. Uh, my kit uh, came with just one HDMI cable. And for some reason other people were saying they got two or three different cables. But really all you need is the HDMI. On the other side of the HDMI cable is a, and again, this is a standard HDMI uh, connection, and then you've got uh, in the kit is an HDMI to DVI connection. Now, if you're like me and you have a nice video card, uh, you have an HDMI running to your standard monitor, and then you've got extra ports. Uh, most of them are going to be DVI. I personally have a GTX uh, 560. Uh, one gig of RAM, it's a very nice card. I like it. It was affordable yet powerful enough to run most of the good stuff. Uh, and it has two extra uh, DVI ports. So I just plug this adapter on and I plug it in. Now once I've got it plugged into the computer, uh, you do have uh, some buttons on the box that runs the uh, Oculus Rift. Uh, there are two that are for uh, contrast and two that are for brightness and then you've got the power and uh, I have this plugged into the USB power and just to kind of proof of concept here I push the power button the light comes on right there in the little eye socket it's very clever placement I like that um, and, and it's on and it's up and running and so the next step in your process is to then go into your computer and change your display settings. Now, uh, what we're going to do in terms of display settings is you need the Oculus Rift to be a duplicate, so you want to replicate your current screen uh, on the Oculus Rift. The Oculus Rift is a 1280 by 800 resolution. So when you do the duplication, whatever your monitor is should change. So both of them at the same time are displaying the same information at a 1280 by 800 resolution. Now, uh, there is uh, one circumstance where you would not do it and you would actually not duplicate but instead do a uh, extension and that is the uh, Descope 
uh, app that allows you to have a, a desktop that works stereo for the Oculus Rift, and that's kind of cool, and I'll probably do a video on that uh, down the road. But for all of the other apps that you're going to run, all the other demos and programs, it's going to be a replication of your current screen. So whatever's on your desktop screen is going to show up on the Oculus Rift. And so once you've got it all uh, set up and turned on and plugged in, the next step is to go out to the Oculus VR website and download the SDK. The Oculus SDK is going to have two things. Uh, number one, it's going to have all your fun stuff, uh, your Tuscany uh, demo and things of that nature, but it also has the utility, uh, the configuration utility where it'll allow you to measure your IPD, your inner pupillary distance, and so uh, you can set up profiles for each individual person that will be using it. And it will have uh, whether they're male or female, and then uh, their height, and then their IPD. So that will load when you do the different demos, and then you'll have an uh, experience tailored to your ocular needs. And uh, it, it makes for a much easier play switching back and forth. So if you're like me, and you're going to have numerous people that are going to be using the Oculus Rift, or you're going to be doing demos or whatnot, it literally takes five minutes to set up, find their IPD, set up a profile for them, and off you go to go have some fun in virtual reality. So hopefully that uh, gives you a good example of how easy this is to set up. When I first opened my box and took everything out and put it together, I was up and running in 10, 15 minutes tops. Uh, of course, I had already downloaded the SDK and all of that. So, um, so there you have it. That's how easy it is to install the Oculus Rift on your computer. Uh, this has been Reverend Kyle. Thank you very much for watching.